Greetings and salutations to the citizens of the internet, to the redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the open XCOMers out there. This is Ivan Dogovich rocking the oldies with a Let's Try tutorial of Open XCOM 1.0. This is episode 5 in which we will explore the new battle feature of Open XCOM. Open XCOM has a random battle generator feature, and you see it right on the main menu when you start. So I'm going to go ahead and click new battle new battle brings you right up to your mission generator and this will only work to start battles on the tactical map it won't do anything for like ufo interceptions but it will let you battle enemies on the map you've got a few options the first off is the type of ufo that you'll be um, fighting against which kind of indicates how many alien aliens you'll be fighting you also have the option to fight on a terror mission map, an alien base assault, your own base defense, or also the two final missions. As somebody who has not played the game, I would not really mess around with these too much, especially not the last ones, as they are spoilers. But if you're, you're familiar with XCOM and just want to get in a quick tactical battle, this is probably a great option for you. Let's just for giggles go with a medium scout. And then the next option that you have is um, what type of craft that you are launching in. Sky Ranger is what you start with. And it's probably a good option for your initial battles that you try. But you also have the Lightning and you also have Avenger. Now, interesting thing with this is you get actually a chance to equip the craft. And here is where you actually see what you can do you actually can the, the lightning carries a piece of armament so now you actually see what you can in unlock for ship weaponry um, let's just say put a laser cannon on there says that's all right it actually gives you crew uh, this is a set of crew that you can uh, put on and you can actually go through and you can check these people out just like in the barracks you can say name them if necessary uh, this person has high strength, high strength, so I'm going to give them a dollar sign. That's what I like to do for that. And shows you what their bravery is, etc. So you've, you've actually got a full set of troops here that you can figure out what you want to do. You've got a lot of them promoted already. You can assign which ones you want to to the craft and take only the ones that you like. So you've got the crew there. You also got equipment. And the one thing about the battle generator is it basically gives you equipment for just about everything. So if it's something you can research in the game, it's something you can use, it's in here. So if you were going to do this to practice early battles, I wouldn't take any higher tech stuff. I'd stick with my rifles, pistols, heavy cannons, auto cannons, etc. And not take any of the more advanced weaponry like laser weapons or plasma weapons that you'll get later on. If you just do want to test how the the weapons work, this is a nice way to do it, though. So there's a couple things I'm just going to push put back because I don't really want them. So I'm going to pause this really quick and just kind of configure the loadout for my lightning one really quick here. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've geared my troops up with a, a fair amount of uh, standard equipment. And the first uh, tech breakthrough that I, that I would probably be going for is a laser pistol. Um, you've also got a convenient unload button to just dump everything, and that's all right. The lightning will take a couple more troops. Actually, let's go ahead and select a craft. I want to go with Sky Ranger. Equip it really quick here. My equipment didn't change. The loadout that I selected didn't change, but what I do want to add is a um, tank. So that's one of the things we didn't do in our previous battle, and it's a, a helpful addition to our crew. Uh, it also gives us the option of using armor, and really, um, I'm probably going to give everybody personal armor, because this other armor, it takes a little bit longer to research, and it's kind of, it's pretty powerful. So everybody that's flying will get a piece of that, personal armor and going just kind of trying to mimic an, an early battle here is my goal all right that looks good sky ranger we equip the craft we can also do all of the neat things uh that we wanted to before about setting who's gonna go first etc um 
Okay, so the next options are darkness. How dark is it? This is nighttime. This is daytime. And you can go somewhere in between. Now, the trick with this is visibility on the map really only degrades for human soldiers. Aliens never lose their ability to see. Let's put it halfway. It'll make it a bit more creepy. And um, the aliens can always see 20 tiles, day or night, and the humans can see 20 tiles during the day. And at night, they can see like up to six or eight tiles. So let's just say the aliens have quite an advantage in darkness. Let's go with the desert terrain. Difficulty, you can choose uh, different difficulty. This should make the AI smarter and tougher. It definitely improves their hit points. So it makes it much more difficult to take them down. I'm going to stick with sectoids. Last mission we went up against floaters. And sectoids and floaters are your first enemies that you face. Tech level I believe affects what the aliens will be carrying. I'm not quite sure about it. But you can bump it up to see what those differences are. So beyond all that you've got just a randomize option. And it will just randomize all these settings. But let's just go ahead and kick in here it acts just like you're hitting your first crash crash site and you get your equip screen again if you wanted to mess with your equipment and I actually didn't equip my troops while I was futzing in there so let me go ahead and do that all right I've equipped my troops here I've given um, laser pistols to most of my just strikers and uh, given our smoke primed it already just like we did on the first mission got some grenades here I've got auto cannons set with incendiary rounds because we're our map is a little darker the incendiary rounds are an easy way to get light out so there is that I've got a couple couple more folks carrying some gear anyway well let's just get started here so here we are um, on the map now the other thing that we did is we're bringing a tank this time we did not bring a tank last time Bringing a tank is actually a pretty good tactic early on, especially when you don't have armor. The tank costs as much as a number of soldiers, however it's a bit more survivable than a lot of your soldiers are. So the, the thing with the tank is that it has decent armor and it has decent weaponry and it can be a really good scout when you start out. Now. Right off the bat, I'm looking around. I've got a desert map. I'm just kind of checking that here. I can use my scout to kind of come out and explore the map. And it's a little safer than soldiers, especially unarmored soldiers. The, the bad thing about the tank is that it doesn't necessarily give me any ex experience. When, when the tank dies, or when the tank kills an alien, that's it. Nothing, nothing happens. He doesn't get any experience, he never improves. So it's a decent early on addition to your crew. Later on, I pretty much go all uh, all soldiers and don't ever mess with, with anything else. Well, so I'm just going to spread out a little bit here. So far, we have not made contact. Let's get my auto cannon out here. I wanted to, to show this off. This is kind of a, a cool thing. So this map with the, this light level, we can see pretty clearly and it's pretty obvious but I would just want to show off the auto shot feature on this incendiary round so you can see already areas where the the incendiary round struck have lit a fire and they've lit they light up the area a really cheap way to light up the map especially during a night mission um, and there's there's another thing you can use called an electro flare which is um, a it's like a grenade but um, you can use the the electro flare and they are reusable you can toss them back and forth which is nice but the uh, the cool thing is when you have the auto cannon you can just lay down a bunch of rounds of, of light now I did it on auto shot so it kind of shot every which direction all right, let's go ahead and prime your grenade. Now, can you throw it over there? You can throw. Let's see. And he kills him. Oh, actually, he just stunned him. All right, that was cool. Let's go ahead and scout a little more. 
since we found at least one guy, okay, here's another guy. So he's carrying a weapon of sorts. Now the tank is also carrying a rocket, and I could use him to, to shoot the rocket. I can also maybe get a shot with my auto cannon. So uh, he doesn't have a line of fire there, so let's move him over here. He may also get another back shot into our tank. So he actually lit this alien on fire with that shot. It didn't kill him, but it will put some damage on him. So that's, that's kind of humorous. <laughs> All right, let's give him a better shot here with more accuracy. A snapshot he still misses. Light some more fire up. Put some more damage on him. And I'll just move this soldier over here. This other weapon I'm carrying is called a laser pistol. The nice thing about laser pistols is that they do not have any requirement for a clip. You can't unload them. They they are just they're just like a rechargeable weapon. So it's like essentially full uh, it's just got free free ammo. Rather inaccurate at this range, but even with uh, a number of shots, he finally hit and killed that alien. So that's really kind of all I want to show off in this episode. You can set up as many different battle types as you like. You can just play here. This would probably be um, a fairly interesting and entertaining option, especially just for a quick up, quick pickup battle. You don't really want to want to do much. For me, it's kind of disconnected from a main storyline and that's where the real drama of the game comes in as your rookies grow as they increase their uh, stats they gain stories they get kills they get wounded they get hurt um, they recover and, and you develop a squad full of personalities that's where the beauty of this game really comes in so I really like playing the story arc but the the tactical mission generator this this quick battle is can be useful the Open XCOM forums have a cool thread going on with battle challenges. For example, use one soldier only on a night map against this type of alien. You can only use grenades. You can only use mind control, whatever. So you can kind of pick and choose some of those. And those could actually be fun. And uh, you could keep retrying until, you know, you've, you've, got, you've successfully completed some challenges. But that's... That's um, a feature that, that may be useful or maybe interesting, but at, at this point, for me, I would much prefer to play through uh, a campaign, and maybe if I was having difficulty or wanted to work out some new types of tactics, I might use the battle generator to see, okay, so what if I use this type of grenade? Will that alien type you know die to that or will it die to to this you know so that's some some way i would use this anyway it's a great new feature in open xcom 1.0 really outstanding some of the things i'm seeing on the forums are they're working on developing more maps there are a lot of custom maps being built by people so those are things you could probably look at as well and they're looking at porting in maybe some maps from Terror from the Deep. Uh, and there is an effort, by the way, I know that there are people interested in this. There is an effort to port Open XCOM to Terror from the Deep. Uh, initially, you could, uh, I know in some of the earlier versions of the beta, you could just apply the Open XCOM files to Terror from the Deep. But there are some differences in the file structures and game files that you may run into problems. The game is very close, very similar, so the the effort to develop it for Tear from the Deep is probably not going to be as intensive as it was to develop uh, Open XCOM to 1.0. But and it is in progress, but I don't I don't know how soon it will happen. Uh, I just want to let you know that it is going to happen, and for me, I'm sure that's going to be a very happy day because this is this is a really cool because Open XCOM really does a lot to add and extend to the early game, and it's going to do great to uh, tear from the deep as well. I want to thank you for joining me for this episode number five of Let's Try Open XCOM 1.0 tutorial. In this episode, we covered the new battle generator. Next episode, we will cover after battle recovery. 
So basically we'll pick up where we left off with our team of rookies off our first battle where we took such horrendous losses. <laughs> Lost four out of eight soldiers. And um, we're going to pick up and return to base and just kind of go through, oh geez, you got a rough start. How do you continue on from here? So we'll work on refitting, getting new troops, setting up. We'll actually get our base into actual motion doing some good things like research which we forgot to do we'll build a facility that we forgot to build we'll do some of that so we'll kind of catch up and move the game on a little bit we'll set up after that i'm looking at making another episode at least of kind of tactical tips some of the things i covered here in this episode like lighting up um we'll, we'll cover a few more tactical tips and um if you've got any ideas for that, go ahead and post them in the comments below. That'd be awesome. And maybe I can cover some of those. Uh, I'm looking at an episode after that for research, a following episode for strategy, and one final episode in this series that I will cover resources. And the intent to cover resources is good guides on the internet, mods, uh, websites that will help you and just uh, will add to your open XCOM experience. If you like this video, please check out my XCOM Terror from the Deep series and sign up to join the force. You've been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. We will see you again in the next episode of our Let's Try Open XCOM 1.0 tutorial. Cheers!